Dr. Agile. <laughs> Mr. Agile, I have a question for me. Shut the fuck up. There are a few things I need to make sure. This was a cool aspect of the game. I always enjoyed this. It was Did nice you know seeing it in retrospect, because he was like, you're making all these decisions, you're right. fucking things up. Uh, you have to accept this in order to move forward. Also, who is the voice actor for him? There's freedom in this revelation. I'm looking well, also regular actors, since they're probably using his likeness. Door, yeah. Like they do with the other characters. I, want you to remember I can't remember what else he's been in. As you play uh, your game. Every you single choice game. will affect you. Yeah. We are playing a game. Oh, oh, wow. Oh, what the fuck? Broken. Uh, I just shook my phone. I was like, do you want to cancel your typing? No. no. We have committed to I've never ever used that. Game. Like, oh, I want to erase it like an Etch-a-Sketch. Nobody does. And I want to uh, help you see it through. Sometimes. Sometimes. Peter Stormare. That name sounds super familiar. What else has he been sure that no matter how upsetting things may get, pull up his wiki. You will always find a way to work through it. Hmm? He was in Prison Break. My phone's super fucking old right. and slow. We will start with a simple exercise. That guy. Could you please pick mm. up the card? Mm. It's not. And not I want you to look at the picture on the other Okay, side. we got to make decisions here, Ben. Fargo. It. It is I never watched it. To answer honestly in order to get the most out of this experience. Bet your ass I'm gonna answer honestly. Go lie. Go, go lie a lot. Did it ever, like, the fears, remember? I think they did, slightly, but not so much that it's like... Are you scared of, like, the farmhouse or the scarecrow? I think is what I was gonna ask. So, yeah. How did that picture make you feel? Made me horny. <laughs> Bruh. Dude, I'm about to bust it right now. It makes me happy at feeling easy. I mean, I guess uneasy, just because I, I don't... That scarecrow... Is kind of okay. freaky. Honesty is good. What do you think? Do you notice the photos the behind him? I just saw that. Did y'all see that in behind it? It's Dante's Inferno. Oh yeah. I'm pretty certain. Oh shit! I didn't listen to what he asked. What, uh, what makes you uneasy? Oh, ah, uh, the scarecrow. What I see, I see. That's it's a very <laughs> large pen. <laughs> Little bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Needs his diapers changed on for a period of time. Let's say a week, for example. Uh, sure, sure. I guess. I mean, I don't. I don't know why I would, but I probably could. Huh. And what if I told you that this cottage was haunted? Uh, I. I mean, I. I. I First, for you personally, be like, oh, bust out the Ouija board. Yeah, no, like, I don't know. Yeah. Like, I personally just wouldn't. Just play the game. Just, just... I, I just say I wouldn't care. I wouldn't care. Fuck it. I'll stay at a haunted barn. I'm actually more scared the cottage. of cottage. The scarecrow frightens you, and yet you don't appear to be bothered by the possibility of the supernatural. Goddamn right. That scarecrow's real. Whereas ghosts are. I suspect that I someone is not being entirely honest with me. What? Are you getting cross with me, Doc? Our time's up. Let's investigate that in our next session, shall we? So, it's irrational to be afraid of something you can see, but not afraid of something that has no scientific proof of being real. That's an well, interesting take. We, we didn't say they made us scared, they made us an easy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe that scarecrow looks things. fucking creepy. I mean, that's just, you know, it just does. But if you say, oh, there's ghosts there... There's a lot of people that don't believe in ghosts, so it would make sense that you could be afraid of the scarecrow, but not afraid of ghosts. Do, 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 do. What I'm trying to get down to is that is a horrible therapist, and yeah. uh, I don't agree well, with his methods. I mean, technically, he is a horrible, <laughs> horrible therapist. That's true. Into the game. Uh, oh, good water break. God, fucking love water, bro. I hate you one of Reese's pieces. Reese's, bro. There you go. Thank you, sir. You know, we once knew someone that called him Reese's Pieces, and uh, they're no longer with us. <laughs> yeah, I kicked them out. I don't remember what happened to them, but they're not here anymore. I, I kicked them out of my dorm room in college. I asked her again, I was like, oh, what, do you, what do you call those? And she was like, Reese's Pieces. I was like, no, they're not. She's like, yeah, they are. I was like, all right, well, you can get the fuck out. <laughs> 
It's like that uh, cool whip thing. Cool whip. Yeah, that's like the same thing. Look at this word. Wait, how do you say this word? Pieces. Okay, now say Reese's pieces. Reese's pieces. Like no. Like, <laughs> what's the name on here? What's what would be the guy's name? Reese. Okay, cool. So you make it possessive. Reese's. Okay. And what would you say? Like a portion of a of a, of a cake is. Oh, a piece. Okay, make it plural. Pieces. All right. Reese's pieces. Boom. Fucking makes sense. Science, bro. Today is the one-year anniversary oh. of the dreadful tragedy that took place on Mount Washington. Yeah. Annie Klein was in charge of the investigation. Thanks for having me, Mark. Y'all remember what happened? Those Hannah two girls? Oh, I remember. Who are Fucking kicked it, bro. One year ago tonight, the Washington girls left the safety of their parents' lodge and mm -hmm. headed out into a snowstorm. I sure did. So it says Washington was where they were from. There so they, did they cross? No, I, I think that was just the name of the mountain, because I could have sworn this game took place in, like, Washington family. Okay. On, a, on an Ontario or... And claim the land uh, Manitoba or something. Quebec? No, not Quebec. Territory. Does not take place in Quebec. I know that for sure. My officers did search the grounds, but also, I think they did something to fuck with the height of the characters because uh, Hayden Panettiere looked like the same height as everyone else. Yeah, if she's five foot, and I think like Mike was like, so she's like six one. The anniversary of the mysterious disappearance of Hannah. Do you really think a group of friends after? Like, friends and fans. I know he asked, but. I, I would I wouldn't go. I would be like, dude, right. let's do this somewhere well, else. So, so like if Memphis died, like, let's go to the same place where Memphis died a year ago. I'm like, uh I don't um, want to off, I gotta say, I am super excited to welcome all my pals back. They got the the, the back with it's pretty good on him. Because he always has this weird jaw <laughs> so, like, um, thing. Let me just let you know. Uh let's take a moment to Address the elephant and the so room we had this for a second. And then he also had uh, I know Ninth Museum two or whatever. And then he blew and up one, and one. He was in the first one. He blew up after that, after you know. He was uh, it, it was because of this game. That's why he I just want what's, you what's his know. name again? Um it's uh I'm um, sure Egypt, right? It's Josh. Josh <laughs> is his name. It means so much to me that we're doing this. And I uh, I know it would mean so much so to Hannah and Beth that we're, we're all See, like, I guess together. if the brother Thank of the people that died specifically really asked you and, like, your friends to come back, then I can see how that would be compelling. Because he needs, like, the support to be with right. people. Right. We'll never forget. Even though, technically, I think his fam, his parents would want him with them. On you know. the death of yeah. their daughters. Yeah, you're right. Uh, you think the family would kind of be like, Josh, you dumbass, quit, quit like torturing yourself. And like they knew he was going to okay, therapy. Make right. This one trip we will never forget, all right? We're yes. giving so many spoilers away because fuck you. Yeah, it's all. It's, it's been out for five years. Everything spoilers. So. But yeah, no, I agree that, like, especially on the exact anniversary, yeah. it's like, you same know. place. Also, it's really weird that they don't travel together up there. Yeah, seriously. Man. They're, 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 from, they're from, like, the same school. Yeah, that's how they're all friends. So, like, why the fuck are they all showing up separately? Especially when it's a cabin, like, in the well, middle of the they, they need exposition for each character development yeah. coming in. I guess that's true. IRL. You, your buddies and you would just show up at the same fucking time. Unless you're Matt, and you're gonna be like, Oh, I'm, I'm gonna be up there at this <laughs> time. And then sure, four uh, hours later. <laughs> it's right. Fucking right. Alright. Do this. Oh yeah, I didn't it's... I didn't pack yet, so I'm gonna go buy my house. <laughs> I didn't bring anything. Is that gonna be a problem? Alright. Let's fucking do it. Chapter one. Yeah, I forgot you had like you had like status updates of like your relationship with friends, like you had a you had a bar. Yeah, and it like kind of matters. It's not it doesn't matter as much as you might hope it would but it matters enough also completely unnecessary foreshadowing of him like being there well i i guess it kind of like uh should have gone down that rod <laughs> i told you not to go down that rod mr mosh <laughs> so hannah's best friend sam she's diligent she's considerate and she's adventurous and she's also uh hayden pantier uh oh sorry we say her name what yeah, be careful frederick um, Hello? Ooh. But, I mean, Courtney works in a facility, there? they have like, they already had one test positive, and they have eight others that are pending right now to be confirmed, double confirmed that they're positive. So, 
we're around it all the time. She she gets tested once or twice a week. I think she's like almost on test number thirty mm. of the full nasal nasal swab. She tested negative Thursday, so we're good again. As always, it's just a pain in the ass. God damn right. It's a pain in the gooch, my guy. Pain in the gooch. Pain brother. in the gooch. Let's take a look at this this fat letter. The gate's busted. Climb over. Why wouldn't you just leave the gate open? Fuck all that. Also, what's on the back? Did he just, like, write down a receipt or, like, an email to his doctor? Probably. Let's see. Am I gonna... Oh, I tried anyway. Jesus, never mind. Reading is for nerds. So I'm... You know, just in case. Climb over. I guess I'll go over here then. Quick time events. We're gonna go the crick... Quick... The crick... The crick train. Because I'm so fucking good. At pushing buttons. I just have no goddamn idea. Yeah, you're fucking right. What are you gonna do? I'm gonna. With Ulcamania, something's for you. If I fuck up, I apologize, but I'm trying my best. It's not good enough. It's never good enough, but, you know, that's all we got. I always miss one spot shaving. Oh yeah? Wait, right, right here. I haven't I haven't shaved yet for no shave November, bro. Oh, next I think Wednesday is when I'm getting rid of the beer and just keep the mustache. Doing mustache for the no November. Gonna be a mustache man. I missed my goatee. Uh Yeah. But I was about to say that. You had a full grown goatee. Well I was in a state and oh. Oh fuck. <laughs> oh, I was close. Uh, yeah, well, anyway, I tried to trim it, and it looked terrible, so the whole thing had to go. Yeah. Basically just to trim up the sides, and then the shortness of Whoops. this. Sorry. Uh, yeah, so the, the personality stats don't matter really that much. The relationship status is kind of matter for some things that occur that are out of your control, unless you're in a certain threshold with a certain character. But aside from that, it's just kind of... Just kind of make the right decisions and you pretty much get everybody at the end i'll try to get everyone to the end but it is yeah. a fucking bitch it's be looking for them totems even though it doesn't really matter because we i've already had the trophies yeah no from it's the game which is really nice because i can start bumping up my playstation trophies right by playing random fucking games now yeah like how i platinum that batman telltale game oh my god just for playing it and you, you just get a like, platinum for like day. 10 platinums and it's all from telltale it's fucking cheating right yeah pretty much um yeah so if people want to you know read over this shit go for it but uh like ben and i or like ben said the totems don't really matter that much if you've already played the game and you have the trophies so i'll probably like kind of look for totems but i'm not gonna like go way out of my fucking way to find them because they're they're not wholly important how the fuck do you pick shit up again ain't it r2 okay there it is i like her nails by the way i do i've been telling you Got little butterflies. And then and then there'll be shit like that where you're like What does it mean? Yeah, don't what, throw the snowball. Remember, that's, yeah, that's pretty much it. I think that was it. Alright. And we're about to run into Chris here at any point. At some point. Because his bag's over here. God damn, this is really in the wake of a, a huge mountain. Bag's here. Where are you? Where's the, where's Chris? Not in the bag, are you? Ha! Huh. Silly Sam. Now you can go check his phone or not. Which I'm not gonna do because I respect my friend's privacy. I'm gonna I'm gonna close that bag up because I'm a good friend. We can just leave it like meh. Yeah, or just not yeah, just you don't have to did zip you, it up. Because Chris would be like, I left Sam, that open. Hey, yeah. You made it. <laughs> Has a rush weird. on Ashley. That's who he is as a human being. He's got the weird smile like this. He's methodical. He's protective. But most of all, he's humorous. He's the guy in the van. He is. Oh, so I found something kind of amazing. What? Mm, do I'm not going to tell you. <laughs> Newt. You for Come on, it's this way. Where? I didn't know right it could been that way. <laughs> he's literally fucking his own ass. <laughs> <laughs> My God. Chris. Oh, no. Sex. Yes, please. Mail. You think we'll get a visit from America's most wanted? 
Looks like someone thought so. Oh, come on. This place is abandoned most of the year. 1998 was when he was last seen, so... Yeah, what? That is an old warning poster. They all have cell phones. Pretty rad, right? What the fuck is it? What are we looking at? Uh, beauties is Guns. Not a word that comes to mind. Why is this even here? What do you mean? W what the hell is a shooting range doing at the base of the ski lodge? Uh, dude, have you ever met Josh's dad? Yeah. He thinks he's like grizzly. He's animals. pointing the gun straight at her. By that the way, that's not proper gun safety. <laughs> no, I just saw that. Like, god damn. Oh, right. now we're Chris. And they use military time, so no one ever knows what time it is. I know you just have to do some math, but fuck that. I refuse. So that barrel's super narrow for... Her. It, it looked like it was supposed to be a shotgun. It, it, I think... It, it's not. It's a rifle. Oh, yeah, you're right. Okay, we gotta bring it on over, and then... Boom! Pow, right. Frack shot, bro. I can't... I can't Frank. be stopped. I can't be tamed. Not Morgan. <laughs> That's a timely joke right there, ladies and gentlemen. It's now legal in Oregon. <laughs> A little bit, just a little just bit. A little, of crack. Just a little bit crack. Just a little bit crack. Wow, a little bit of heroin. All right, I'm bad. I'm a mm. badass. Oh yeah. I'm yeah. Go ahead and guess it was a wild case I hope he trips and the gun shoots well, him through the brain. So, girl. Beginner's luck. I just, I just nailed like fucking five targets. What are you talking about? Hey, you like that shit? Well, yeah. Anybody in there? See us go in these hands, that man. Big, that close. Oh my god. It's been a diva main for years. <sighs> I'm not gonna shoot the squirrel. Cause it would upset Sam. I'm gonna shoot that bag. Also, they left ammo and a loaded gun out there yeah. in this weather. Yeah, no, you're right. I don't know if this gun would still be operational. Probably not. It's pretty funny. If you make all the wrong decisions at this point, Sam could have already been caught snooping on Chris's phone so he would dislike her. And then Chris can shoot that squirrel so Sam dislikes him. And there's zero coming back from that. Yeah, so you can, uh, like, five minutes into the game without really too much of a grasp of what's going on, you can already, like, fuck up two relationships, like, right off the bat. Mm -hmm. I mean, not, like, permanently, but, you know, get them off on the wrong foot. Also, I'd definitely be wearing some fucking gloves in this weather. Dude, straight up. But they're Canadian, you know, maybe it's just, uh... It's different. Yeah. <laughs> it's different. It's different when you're. It gives them super strength.